Hello everybody and welcome back to The Way That I See It. My name is Lucy Superfox and this is my podcast. So this is likely to be the last episode I release before Christmas. Like, I cannot believe we're in almost the end of 2022. And if you listen to this in the future, then hopefully there's something you still take from this regardless of the timing. So today what I'll be talking about is self-worth in business and what that means to me and how that's been something that I have learned and grown over time with. So hopefully there'll be some nuggets of wisdom no matter what time of year. But I am sat here with a glass of bubbles. This is just good old fashioned Prosecco. I'm a big fan of the brand Pale Fox Prosecco. This is one of their specials. So if you haven't already checked them out, make sure to do that. And um, you can always drop them a message and let them know who sent you. No affiliate code yet, but who knows? It depends how much I buy. Um, Although I'm probably going to try and go sober in January. So maybe not so much. But let's jump into it today, guys. Let's dive in because... One of the things that came up in last week's episode was when I was talking about why sometimes we're not, we don't generate the money that we want to. So we don't necessarily get to the manifestations that we set out or we don't reach the goals that we set ourselves and why that happens. And one of the biggest things that I see is a lack of self-worth. Now, self-worth is self-esteem, right? And self-esteem is simply a belief or a knowing that you are good enough, that you're worthy, that you have what it takes, that you are safe, like all those things, they're kind of primal human needs, really. But those kind of core conditionings and beliefs often show up in a negative way in business. And actually, there's somebody in my life right now who I am working with, but not not in a work capacity, if that makes sense. And I'm using their skill set to help heal myself. And I believe they're undercharging. And as much as they find themselves in a environment or a geological environment, geological geographic environment geological my god like I'm talking about rocks and volcanoes um I know nothing about that kind of thing by the way however will surprise you Josh is actually a bit of a whiz and all that um so a geographic environment although they find themselves in a geographic environment where there is kind of like a cap I believe this person is massively undercharging and I have told them so I've said you are massively undercharging on your business and I really believe you need to up your prices so anyway long story short um the point of that was it really flagged for me that actually this, the reason why this person doesn't charge more is nothing to do with the geographic elements and everything to do with the self-worth and self-belief that they have, not in necessarily their business skills, but in themselves. And so what I want you to understand is there's two parts to this when you run a business or you're in, oh, this could apply this to your career, right? Is that in one sense, you can believe in yourself, know yourself, like yourself, believe you're a good person, believe you've got what it takes to be successful. And on the second side, not believe that you're good at business, not believe that you're good at making money, not believe that you're good because you separate the two. So in your head, what you've done is say, I'm a good person, but I'm not good at business. Or maybe you've got a deep belief that you can be successful at business because you've got a blueprint or a template, or maybe you're in a career that's got a program that's really kind of, you know, if I tick the boxes, I'm going to get there. But deep down, you have a core lacking, limiting belief. So the challenge is those two two things, you've got to have both. Like, number one, you've got to believe you're a good person. And number two, you've got to believe that what you're delivering is great value. And I always see with business owners of many kinds and people in jobs and careers is that normally one of the reasons they're not progressing at the rate they want to be progressing at is down to that fact. It's down to the fact that one of those core beliefs is missing. Now, look, you don't arrive at a state of belief and you get there and you're like, okay, cool, I'm here now. Like what happens is it's a constant evolution. It's constant progress and you can slide backwards. Like you guys have heard me talk about this a thousand times, right? That your limiting beliefs, your conditional beliefs, your stories, your narratives, your conditioning and your programming, right? It's like a bungee cord. It will pull you right back. So if you aren't continuously working, continuously programming your mind, to be chasing future potential with supporting yourself with belief that you are worthy, you're capable, you're enough, you're kind enough, you're good enough, you're a good, you know, whatever the story is, right? Then you will find yourself at a point where you will end up being pulled right back into a previous version of yourself and or a previous story or a previous thing that's happened to you. And that is because if we don't break free of the stories, the narratives, the beliefs, the paradigms, whatever fancy word you want to give it, you won't make progress. There's nothing wrong with your business. It's nothing to do with the fucking economy. It's nothing to do with the products you sell. It's nothing to do with where you've priced yourself and everything to do with the belief that you have about whether or not you are worthy and the belief you have about what you are available for. And if I have to say one more fucking time that you get what you're available for, not what you want, I mean, I probably might be sick because what happens so much people say I wanted this and I did this today right 
so you can't see, but sat next to me is my vision board. And I will show you my vision board for January. So make sure to stay tuned to my socials at Lucy Superfox at Next Level Lucy. But I will show you my vision board for next year. And some of that is already in progress and in motion and in fruition right now. But I wrote myself a check, right, from the universe. And as, you, as I say, that you can see my 1111 tattoo on this video. I wrote myself from a check from the universe for a certain amount of money between the 5th of October and the end of 2022. I'm looking at it, as it says now. And today I felt this urge to check how far I was or how close I was. And I'm in a fortunate position that I earn enough money that I pay myself with ease. So sometimes, and, and I pay, everything goes through my business account and then back out. So I don't always check the amounts that come in because there's always enough to come out to me, if that makes sense. And I'm very smart about how much comes out to me because I'm in the 40% tax threshold. And I'm like, as much as I absolutely love this, the thought of paying myself even more to move into the 60% tax threshold is like, what? And not because, and this actually, this is a really interesting point. Not because I don't believe I have the money for taxes. I've always had the money for tax. I always pay my tax bills on time. I believe that tax is an exciting thing. That is it's something I'm fortunate to pay, right? Because I have the money. I've earned the money. Therefore, I've earned the right to pay my tax. Like I genuinely believe that. But for me, there's just smart ways in business to not pay tax on something that you don't have to like as in you can expense things that are things that serve your life through your business so I live at a higher level because I have a business I'm not going to get into the logistics of this because I'm not a financial advisor but or an accountant but what I would tell you is if you don't have a business account you're crazy right if you run a business there you go top tip if you're in a business right now and you don't have a business account speak to whichever whoever you bank with uh, to be honest the interest rates are all the same right now again not a financial advisor but speak to them about a business account and then pay yourself from your business account. Because honestly, what will happen is number one, your cash flow will get itself sorted. Number two, your spending plan will fall more in line. And number three, there are things you can write off through your business that you can't write off personally. So there you go. But anyway, back to my check. So, and I am not as close as I thought I was to that check. Now, at this time, I can sit here and go, well, I wanted this and I believed it would happen and I manifested me, 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 right? Or I can sit here and go, right, what in me didn't take the inspired action or what in me wasn't ready for that amount of money or what about me was actually overwhelmed by the thought of earning that kind of money in three months, right? Asking yourself useful questions about why something didn't happen is way smarter than sitting there moaning, bitching, and complaining that something didn't happen. And back to my point about what you get, what you get, what you're available for rather than what you want if any, if I had any negative belief or any negative story, subconscious or conscious, about that amount of money, or whether it was just trying to find the how, this is one big thing entrepreneurs do a lot of the time. They're like, well, I want to earn this money, but how, but how, but how, but how, but how, but how, but how? And I will tell you, I've manifested money some crazy ways. And if this is your first podcast, go back and listen through the money episodes because you will know that I've manifested some mental money. But the point being that I, what I've asked myself today is not, oh, I wanted this, why didn't it happen? I've asked myself, what in me? was not available for that amount of money what was it about my self-beliefs or my self-worth or the how or what I believed about my businesses or what I believed was possible for me at this time of year what story was I telling where that became not possible for me now look at the time of recording this it is Saturday the 17th of December and there are still two full calendar weeks at the end of this month and I am about to launch next level life right and if you don't know anything about next level life make sure to go to lucysuperfox.com forward slash courses and it's the master course the master course is about to go live and I could absolutely hit my goal not attached to it coming through that though that's the difference I am open to however the money chooses to come I don't need my courses to sell out for me to feel worthy and so this is what I want you to wrap your head around when it comes to self-worth in business your results are not the dictator of your worth your self-belief what you believe is possible for you plus taking inspired action is what leads to self-esteem and integrity let me repeat that. Your results are not your indicator of your self-worth. Your self-belief plus your inspired action is what leads to integrity and self-esteem. So if right now you don't feel worthy of charging more, you don't feel worthy of more clients, you don't feel worthy. And, you know, worth might not seem obvious on the surface, right? But the way I describe worthy is like things feel like a stretch. Things feel like it's like, oh, I'm not sure I could have any more clients or I'm not sure that those type of people would work with me or I'm not sure that, that kind of person would say yes to my opportunity. But what I will tell you is this, your self-worth is an energetic vibration. And if you are vibrating on a level that says, I'm not worthy, I'm not enough, I'm not good enough, they're not right for me, they're better than me, they know more than me, I couldn't coach them, I couldn't help them, whatever it is you do for work, right? That is a vibration. We do not get what we want, we get what we are. So if you are currently vibrating a sense of lack of self-worth or a, 
lack of self-esteem or low integrity, that is what you are going to get fed back to you. Whereas if you actually want to attract something that is high vibration, that's high energy, that's exciting, that's, you know, a massive quantum leap. Maybe we'll talk about quantum leaping in next week's episode. My Christmas episode is going to be about quantum leaping. Okay, there we go. My Christmas episode is about quantum leaping. There you go. I will launch that on maybe Boxing Day. Depends if you're doing something. Um, the quantum leap comes from a quantum shift in vibration and also a quantum shift in action. Because if you're doing fuck all and then you start taking action, you're probably going to see some results, right? But your self-worth in your business is the driver of your results. Your belief in yourself, your level of integrity, your level of self-esteem is what is driving your results. So as an example, if you are not training in the gym and you are a personal trainer, I can guarantee that is impacting your results in terms of how many clients you have, how many plans you sell, how many people you you know get to work with you on your boot camp, whatever it is. If you are not doing the thing that you are telling other people to do, if you are in a coaching business, but you're, um, you know, and you're not actually following any kind of structured meal plan, or you're not actually driving yourself forward towards a body goal or uh, an emotional goal, or even if it's just a goal to feel good, if you don't have any kind of goal there, you're not going to attract goal minded people. If you are in a network marketing business, because most of you know I'm in network marketing as well, if you're in a network marketing business and you are not taking action, you cannot expect the people around you to take action. If you are not genuinely using the products, genuinely embodying the brand or the culture, the ethos of the company that you work with, then you're not going to attract people that want to do that either. So what we have to remember is, and I'll say this for the 472nd time this year, you do not attract what you want, you attract what you are, and therefore you get what you are available for. And so while you are available for change and growth and progress, you will attract clients and business and customers and whatever, people who want growth and progress and whatever. But if you don't, right, if you are living in a bubble of, well, I just want to sit here and hope and pray for the best, you're going to get people who want to sit and hope and pray for the best. And those people don't take action. Those people aren't decisive. Those people aren't bold. Those people don't put themselves out there. You have to be what you want to see. Or there's a quote for Twitter. You have to be what you want to see. And so right now, if you are not seeing the results in your business, you're not seeing the growth, you're not seeing the wealth, you're not seeing the sales, you're not seeing the clients, that is everything to do with your self-belief, your self-worth, your inspired action, who you are being, and nothing to do with the fucking economy, the environment, or where you fucking live. And you've got to wrap your head around that concept if you want to be a successful entrepreneur. If you want to make baby gains, marginal gains, or you want to make quantum fucking leaps, you attract what you are. You've got to be what you want to see. So hope that helps. But I feel very passionate about that topic. And I have had a glass of fear, so you can tell I'm wired on this subject. But here's the thing. And this is a bit might feel a bit left field, but go with me here, right? What a lot of people do is they want something on the outside of their life to change before they change on the inside. But if we use the example of me getting recently engaged, yes, there it is. Thank you very much. If I had acted like a dickhead and said I would act like a good person or a fiance or a wife when Josh proposed, right? He would never have proposed. But instead, I embodied the best version of me. I am me at my fullest, and I'm a great girlfriend and a great fiance, like before, great girlfriend, which meant he wanted to marry me. And if you use that example when it applies to your business or your body goals or your financial goals, you have to be what you want to see. You will fully, honestly, there's no way things won't happen for you right? Everything in the universe is energy. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transferred. And so money is just another form of energy. Sales is just another form of energy. Clients is just another form of energy. And you have to be vibrating at a level that is open to receiving. And if you are questioning your self-worth, you're thinking you're not good enough, you're questioning your prices, you're deciding whether or not something has value in it, that is emitting a vibration of low, shitty energy. And what you're going to get back is low, shitty energy. So your aim, your goal, and I said this yesterday on a post on my social media is we've all got potential, sweetheart, like we all have. But the reality is turning that potential into power comes from recognizing the things that are holding you back. Your programming, your stories, your beliefs, your conditions, your mindset is the thing that's stopping you from stepping into your power. And so if right now you aren't where you want to be and you have a goal or a vision or you've set something as your goal for 2023, Know that you are going to have to act as if you're going to have to step into that version. You're going to have to ask yourself questions. And I'm going to be doing a New Year's workshop kind of podcast that I'll be doing live. And then I will share it with you all about how to become the next level version of yourself in 2023. So 
look, as you can tell, I'm very animated tonight, but I am excited. Like, I know who I want to be in 2023. I know who I'm becoming in 20. Like, I fucking know. And all I ever say to people is, I know where I'm going. Are you coming? I want you to feel empowered to know that you can create a next level life in 2023. And if you need a little help, the master course is opening soon. So make sure to stay tuned to my social media at least Superfox at Next Level Lucy. Now that was it for this episode because I need to finish this glass of almonds before it goes warm with the amount of heat I have on in this house because I hate being cold. So if you have any questions, you know where I am. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I love hearing from you or I love hearing your messages on Instagram. I love hearing from how things have helped you or I love hearing your comments and your testimonials. So I hope that you have the most beautiful Christmas if you don't hear from me before. My Boxing Day episode, as I've said, me sharing a corker with you on quantum leaps and then the next one will be all about how to become who you want to be in 2023 to live your ultimate next level life so have the most beautiful festive season if that's what you celebrate but otherwise i'll see you on the next episode my name is lisa superbox and that was the way that i see it <laughs>